babes. I can't help but to see this and it's happening. Okay? I'm an aperture. I'm a pillar. I'm a an 11. I am part of the 144,000 whatever they talk about. Who's going to wake up and say, excuse me, but this is the truth and we... And, and um, our teacher is God. And, and when you say God, babes, God is the creator of creation and then you have, um, he's still, he's still working. Okay. Not done. And so it's never done. And, but, um, here's what I'm, I'm looking at and here's what we're looking at. Here's what we're looking at. There is some, there's one thing missing from, from, from your mind, most likely your mind, if you're, if you're watching this. I mean, you probably know of it, but you don't know it like the back of your hand, which you should. Like you should, like you know gardening. <sighs> Don't mind me as I go mad. I actually just wanted to peel my orange in my orange shirt. And I cut my hair a little bit off right here, so you might get a little bit risque, baby. Here, let me just go. Okay, so um, I'm talking about what's missing is astrology. Astrology is the only single one science that points at all possible sciences observable in our known universe that is human. And if you don't know astrology, you are walking blind in every, especially in your relationships, especially in your relationships and everything else, really. And when I think about this, when I think about how, how the, this is the, this is the truth. You know, I mean, I remember when I was kind of, um, you know, how they kind of say it's, an, it's a religion or something or whatever, but no, it's, um, it's a tool. It's a, it's a, um, it, it is. I don't know what it is, you guys, but it's here, and I'm in realization of it right now. And, and you know, um, I don't know why it's so strong right now. Feeling it's just like they've taken away this science that embodies all possible science, everything that there is to know about the truth of truth, solid or unsolid. Everything. And I know you guys don't understand that because you think, well, you look at a sheep and you're talking symbolism and it's like, well, it's not always literal. This world, especially you, I mean, everything, it's not, it's what you see is not what you get. You know, it's, there's govern, there's non-physical governing and you can't point at it unless you use a symbol or something. You know, um, I mean, it's right there in front of your face. We just went through Easter and it just, I, I'm, see now what's happening. See, this happened before, and this was before I had astral travel experience and was, um, I guess that you would call it, you know, that, you know, when I think about what I went through and that I'm supposed to write this or tell you about it on audiobook, um, what it, what it sounds like when you listen to it, it sounds like an alien abduction. Uh, you know, I, I mean, but I, I just see it, um, I, it wasn't um, creepy or anything. I pay way good attention to my feelings, even though it's something I've never, ever seen in my life. Overall, I'm listening to my body because your body is in line with the cosmos and the things that are happening is really, you know, there's everything is kind of planned. Believe it or not, um, on a, when you say the possibilities, it's it's just there. And which road, which route are you um, are you um, aligned to? So, getting back to what's missing, because everybody's on Facebook and they're wondering why they don't get along with this one chick and why what what's going on and this and that and 
and how it's all happening and how you and see it. And if you're an astrologer and you know about this stuff and you're looking at it, I think this is the most blindsiding thing. It's the same as um, it's the same as just blacking out to the fact that everything's upside down, turned inside out, and backwards. You just like, you're like Fuck, I don't even want to deal with. It. It's the same as that. Like I, I saw a Steinway piano today for sale. It, that's my piano. I'm gonna try again tomorrow to make instant $150, and I'm going to bring that piano home. It's in full tune. It's a Steinway. The only thing wrong with it is it has um, it, the front legs are broken somehow or something, and maybe somebody was trying to move it and they fucked it up or something. It's like, just find a woodsman or something to fucking prop it up for me, please. And we can, you know, to tell you the truth, I can. I am enough of a, of, a, of a carpenter that knows to fashion it on in such a way that the resonance is now back and it's going into the floor. See, the reason why, I mean, I'm, I'm chosen to be an astrologer, and I am an astrologer, but the truth is, anybody can learn astrology, and just like they learn what? Reading. You want to be fucking reading. If you don't know astrology, you don't know what you're reading. You don't know why. You don't even see. Because astrology is um, built through symbology and pointing through metaphors energies that you're experiencing as a human being if you're not out there in the meadows and you don't know the ram and then you don't start um you just have to use your imagination because it's more than that it's more than just your limit to your biological physical experience it's like where does the physical come from that's it, astrology says it says it comes from here and, and it points right at all the science all of the science and, and the whole drama i mean everything and this is why when i look at this it's like oh god so i'm gonna you know i i think that all i'm gonna shorten this up all of the astrologers and i'm gonna i'm gonna start talking to them i'm gonna call them to my page and i'm gonna tell them you need to stop talking your fucking predicting and trying to guide us through about astrology and what's happening start teaching astrology Say it every once in a while. Do you feel the shift? Did you feel that? And then blah, blah, blah. And you do tell us things that are amazing. But people aren't going to be paying attention to that. Are they really paying attention like that? And if they are, start teaching them astrology, please. So that they can start teaching it. Because if we don't figure out that that is... I don't want to say that it's it's God and religion, but it's sure pointing at it. At how to get all there. It's the only thing. It really is. It's really the only thing that will manage, help you manage your perception about what's happening in your um, relationships with everything, especially the human. Um, um, oh my God, you guys are walking around blind because you don't know that where your Venus and Mars is, and you don't know how that your Venus squares Saturn, and you have a Pluto, and then you look at it, and you're like, oh, I can, I, I trip out. I say, well, oh, I could tell when somebody's mom was the influence that was is um, messing with their relationships today, you know, because they influence, and you can kind of see it. You can see positivity too. I mean, you're going to see, you're going to see how they're going to pull out of it now. The the higher octave, like what they know, what they know. It's all it is is this experience, and then it's like, yeah, I know a little bit more than that than most people. People that have the hardest charts with the squares and shit, if they are operating at a higher octave and they're disciplined, you can't surpass how, how what they know about these hard times shit, and. Um, they know more than the the person who has all the easy aspects. You know, they say, oh, these are, this is easy aspect. Well, great. You don't know how it can be. And you're probably going to fucking be up against it in this life because you're just like tra-la-la. And now you're going to be one of those people that fucking overlays reality. You know, it's just that you know something about it. Why don't you back away from it a little bit? You can't control things. Anyway, thanks for listening.
that's the problem, you guys. And I'm somebody here going mad because it's like that one simple thing. Oh, like there's a simple thing. And, and I like to generalize it. They took the tools away, um, the higher learning tools away. Astrology, like I said, like I said, it's the only real science because it pertains to the... I need to go stir something on the, my stove, wood stove over here. Otherwise, I'll burn the house down. You know, doing this shit. Anyway, um, yes. Uh, <laughs> I thank God I love me. That's your problem. It's fucking terrible. Anyway, because you'll never be able to, uh, like, break the stream of reality that I am. I am reality, by the way. Yeah, just turn it off. Try to turn it off. I'll come into. I'll come to you in another form. Be like, oh, here it is again. Uh, when it comes through a human, it's like, uh, real eye roller. You mean astrology? <laughs> and what else? The truth and all that stuff exists. Like mm, we can actually geometry just kabloop to blob. It's very simple. Uh, Geo me try. Geo me try. Can I give Earth a try? Can I give this realm a try? No, we're going to complicate it. Let's flatten it down. Flatten everything down and say, let's call it geometry. And then um, uh, say, get all these weird equations going. We got calculus and crap and list and fucking I mean, let's, let's imagine this. And, and then keep going. It's like, did you count it yet? Was it here? Is it fucking actually here? One, two, three, ABC. Is it really here? Or is it like Einstein? And it's like, and I wish I can produce some fucking thing. Tesla's over there, like, producing shit, you know? <laughs> There's a difference between somebody who's living in reality and tapping the light of truth, honey. And just imagining shit. And, and, and um, well, sure, you can get into quantum physics and stuff, but <laughs> big deal. That's just saying that um, you found a little part that's in, interacting in the... Whoa, man. You know what I found? And it's still, it, um, it's something that is um, this channeling thing. I am a channel. I am a number 11. I am a 144,000 member. I don't have anybody for a reason. Because we would manifest the two vibration, which is the lower octave of our, we, I'm not on that mission. I'm on the mission of the what God wants us to do now is to radiate. And where I'm at in Idlewild is a Mecca full of highly spiritual, medicinal, shaman, gurus, amazing at the same time. It's full of the opposite. Absolutely turned inside out and upside down and backwards, stitched up fucking dummies putting signs in their houses and fucking letting a Gwyn Tower helicopter fly and put shit around here. You don't need it. You don't need that now because you know what they're doing? They're increasing the wind speeds around here. Mark my words. And we, So this is So what I'm going to start doing, the more I start, I, and I will start feeling better. I've been, because you're not in control. You need to stay as clear as you can. And I've been forced into clarity somehow. It's kind of a hell of a fucking discipline. You know what I mean? Um, you have to lick knives and stuff. God, we'll do that uh, around narcissists or any other minds. Because they're so in it, they can't do fucking shit. They believe all this crap, you know, and it is about a belief, but you don't need to believe anything. You go beyond that. Anything's possible then. Not really. You can't go, you know, what do you want to do? You know what I mean? I mean, do the right thing. Don't cut your mouth when you lick the knife. <laughs> Babes. If you don't have a sense of humor, if you cannot fucking laugh, you have no idea what we are looking at, what I'm looking at, the people that know, and they have been sent here, and they're going to say, 
Dear Lord, what am I, you know, I'm breathing here. Today, my words are, I wanted to say the Lord, and I'm just going to say it because we don't want to help. The Lord, the Lord is in my life. I've got lots of lard. It's overflowing. I don't know what to do with it. The fuck do I do? Can I get the Steinway? No, let's just pretend like I can't get that. Too much. The lard. I have lard. I have the lards in my life, you see. I don't even need that fucking piano. <laughs> I live in fucking 5D. That's why that piano showed up, and I'm like, okay, so uh, if I go to the new dispensary that's opening and, and show them a little of my cheese, will they say, I will smoke that hash, all of it, give it to me, but I'm not going to sell it. That's what happened last time. It's like, dudes, you could have fucking tripled your money. And I was going to come back, and I, and I was going to, but I was, I was like, You know what there are around here, up here, is fucking, when anybody does this, and, and I just, that was hard for me to do, you know they're, you know, it's like Clint Eastwood or somebody, Dirty Harry. Anyway, um, up here, there are um, non-human people. What I mean is there are reptilians and they are shape-shifting in front of my face. And now that I'm seeing a lot more clearly, I went through a really foggy time and it's coming on again. I, there's there's a download happening. And um, this is a long video. I really don't know if people watch them all. You know, there's people in my life close to me that they just, they just want to give me a, a handshake and just give me a like and just forget it. Oh, well, but at least I got it here, babes, and um, some people might listen to it. David Icke is talking for two and a half hours, and I trip out. I, you know, you don't really listen to people. You don't listen to it. You just, what I mean about this kind of material, any kind of material that's actually uh, talking about things that are all, you already know it, but it's like, how do you get there from here? You need to turn your mind off, relax and float. And and uh, like you, like the time the times that you learn things the most is when you're laying in bed. You should read all your material, something like that, and then and doze off on it, and just try and reflect and just run it through your mind, but in a more relaxed way. I used to look at uh, listen to the news that way, and I heard every fucking bit of how they were trying to get what they wanted us to go there and there with our minds and over there. And I thought, God, this is such. I was like, you know, this is such a bunch of bullshit. And why the fuck do we even need that? But, but like, listening to David Icke, I mean, I'm getting back to, I would not even pay attention to David Icke if he didn't talk about the shapeshifters and stuff. And there's he's not perfect. There's something recently, my eye is opening again. I had a little bit more healthier foods and, like, some cilantro, and I did a little fast because it was, I don't know what the fuck happened. And then, uh... I really need a support system here. I need help with myself here. I need a masseuse. <laughs> Somebody to feed me grapes. And I, I need to just be able to, can you build my pyramid? I need to, need to lock myself in there. I don't know, you guys. I love you. And I don't need any of you. I admit. Today I was like, okay, so maybe I don't really need any support from anybody. I mean, what I mean support, you fucking narcissist assholes. What I'm talking about is, is there a healthy ecology out there that we can graze off of? Like, say, like, if you have an overflow of something. I know, I know, I know, I don't have any overflow of anything. <laughs> I almost fucking slapped my, this thing in my face. So hard. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to put it right here. Bye. I hope you like your 19 minutes. And, and I was trying to tell you about astrology, babe, and how painful it is to see that everybody is walking blind. And they're given all this bullshit to fucking run around with their head cut off with, man. Please help me. Please help me somehow. Please help people like me. Woo! We're doing okay. Oh, God, have mercy. Uh, because we are of the higher frequency octave, and if you were to feel the power that is inside of us right now that we are having an inner experience that comes out 
We don't look for it out there now. There's nothing out there feeding us. It comes from in out. And that happens from celebrating the truth that's around here. Like what? Does this look like a happy face? Let's just start with fundamental things. <laughs> Try and lock into something that, that everybody would say, yeah, it's not an agreement. It's just an experience. No, you don't have to agree or disagree on it. Skip your egos for a minute. Bypass the mind, hook your eye up to the heart, and say, just this. But, you know, we live in a world of metaphors. I'm a metaphor. You're never going to see what's behind it unless you start knowing what it's pointing at. Like I said, I am a pillar. A number 11. In the word pillar, there is the number 11. The two L's. I make this shit up all the time. Nothing connects. And I'm not strong from having resonated by the truth, through the truth. I didn't feel that power today, and it's not overloading. I'm not, I'm not downloading, and I'm not going mad. And I don't see how everybody is. I'm not going to um, try to continue to serve people by teaching astrology. Things are coming up just today. It's like Steinway, astrology, language. Punch me in the face because it's never going to happen because there is a fucking movement. All the money has shifted around and whoever makes it is stupid enough to keep it all for themselves. Because that's not the way you live. The enemy taught you how to live. You are preparing for a future, something that will never come. 